Hello YouTube people that asked me numerous times, hey, can you talk about your camera setup? Um, yeah, I'll talk about the camera setup that I use for my live streams, for my concert live streams, because we're having one tomorrow with Agnus Day from Denmark. Uh, but that's really the same live stream, the same camera setup that I use for my videos as well. Only difference is that, uh, actually there is no difference. Any video I make here, could go out live at the same time if I wanted to. It's the same setup. So, I'm using something called a live switching setup. The difference is that usually you record onto SD cards. So you plug this thing into the camera, bang, and um, let me put this out of the way. That's my mixer. Um, you plug this into the camera, and then the other camera, and then the other camera, and then I have a camera right here that usually is for the pedals. And you would have to record on all the cameras, and when you're done, collect all the cards, load it into the computer, which in 4K takes a long ass time. Some of those cameras have recording limits, like this one can only record half an hour, and you know, for my videos, that's a problem. Um, so that's a limitation. Not having a flip around screen, that's a limitation. Big time limitations, for the average YouTuber who goes and records on the camera. Now, I don't do that, which also enables me to use more cameras because I don't have to collect the stupid cards and edit it later. I use one card in a recorder and I use something called... I use something called a Leslie. Isn't she excited? Um, so if you have a Leslie, then you can do what I do, which is live switching. So all these cameras are hooked up with cables going into a box, which is called a live switcher or a Blackmagic Design ATEM 1ME 4K Production Studio. That thing can be controlled with software. So you'll see green cables everywhere here. And I just happen to have these cables in green. Um, which are SDI cables. Now this production studio only has one HDMI input. Everything else needs to go in with SDI. SDI comes in 3G, 6G and 12G, different data streams, qualities. It can carry audio and video in 4K over 100 meters. Um, HDMI can only do 5 meters, maybe 10, maybe 15, and at some point the signal already degrades. HDMI, not good for long cable runs. SDI is. Now, let's go through the cameras. The main camera that you usually see me on, filming this direction, is this. It's a Blackmagic Micro Production 4K. Uh, these things pretty much are just a sensor. There is no screen, there is no menu, there is no anything. It's a expensive sensor and you put the lens on it, MFT lenses. Now you can see on these cameras, this, they can be remote controlled and all this stuff, but this is really just for power. This is how I power them. And there are two cables going in. One for the video out in 4K and one to control the camera. So I can actually go ahead and remote control the Aperture, I can remote control the um, focus, all this stuff. So this is my main cam. This is a, a, a 20 millimeter lens. That's a 25 millimeter lens, which usually shows the guitar up close. This is a, the same camera, this is a 15 millimeter lens, Panasonic. Um, I think they're 1.7, yeah, something about aperture. And uh, this one moves back and forth on this Edelkron slider. Um, so this thing can beautifully, it does this, and then as it moves, it turns and keeps me nicely in, in the middle, and it moves back and forth and back and forth. And yeah, this costs a shit ton of money, but it's cool. Um, so these three are ex exactly the same camera with very similar lenses, so it's easy to keep the picture looking exactly the same. Um, I like that there's some movement in here. Then you'll see the desk, which is this camera. That's a Panasonic G7, but this is already earmarked for Vlad. Um, it has a small rig case on it, which, is, which uh, enables me to hang it sideways. Um, 
this uh, 12 to 60 lens I got new because this camera will, will be replaced with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Once it's actually, I mean, it's already shipping, but wait times are ridiculous. I ordered it, it's here when it's here. Um, now this is exactly the same camera as those micro 4Ks. Same sensor, same lens mount MFT. Difference is it has a big ass screen on it um, and a menu and I can control it right from here. Um, it has XLR and if you need that, um, it has a LANC input so you can actually have like a handheld. I mean, this is a camera made for television studios. Okay, you have a big ass screen and again, I can remote control it with another SDI signal. So that is one, two, three, four, five cameras. Um, back here is a camera that shows me from behind. Leslie switches to that for about five seconds um, once in a while. That used to be my main camera. Problem is that is the Blackmagic Cinema camera and it is just a little bit too green. I cannot make that look like the other angles. It's just not happening. I, cont I contacted Blackmagic. There's no way to do it other than applying a lot, a color lookup table, um, which I can't do with this camera. So it's really just a Hey, let's show the room from the back camera. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have number seven, which is usually my camera to film the pedal from the side. We call it the pedal side cam. And the way I do this is with this table mounted wall mount from Blackmagic and this long arm, uh, not Blackmagic, from Triad Orbit. And what I do is I actually do this. There's no other system that allows me to do this, which is why I tried Orbit Rules. And then right here, bam, that's where the pedal will be. And I can zoom in on this. Go away. And there's my pedal side cam. Okay, that's how I usually do that. Um, but since it's on this beautiful arm for the live streams, I do this. And I have a different angle. I could also have this floating over here and film an amp, which I do. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, in order to film the pedals from the top, I take a pole. It's called the something A to A or something like this. Um, and this Canon XC15, which is my pedal top cam, um, it can be mounted at the bottom or the top, which is kind of neat. Wall mount comes out here. Oh, come here. Pedal top cam. That's how easy that is. Now, this doesn't have an SDI out. It has an HDMI out. So I do a three, four meter HDMI cable goes blah, 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 somewhere back there. And it ends up in this Blackmagic uh, Video Assist 4K. And this converts my signal from HDMI to SDI. And so right here, I can actually, there's two SDI uh, cables. I could get a signal from the video switcher, so I can get any camera that's hooked up to the video switcher show up here, if I wanted that, or, I can convert the camera that we're looking at right now into SDI going into the room. Just like this, that's a uh, Sony A7 III with a G Master 16 to 35 lens um, on the really, really cool little Edelkroner Slider Pro, no, Slider One Plus, that's what it is, with a motion kit. So this thing can also go back and forth and back and forth and with this motion kit turn any which way I want. And that's controlled with my cell phone, which I could show you if I knew where my cell phone is, which I don't. Um, so that's another moving camera that I now have. And it's on this flex tilt head so that, you know, I can move it up and down and it stays there. So that's a really, really cool camera. Leslie loves it. It's the one that I now use for a lot of um, mobile recording because the quality is ridiculous and the autofocus is just amazing. Now that is going right here, as you can see, 
And um, again, going in with HDMI, being converted by the video assist into SDI. I don't just, I don't need the video assist for the conversion. I could also use something like this, the mini converter. That's the one that converts the uh, Panasonic G7 from HDMI to SDI and then sends it into the room, which is, wait a second, which camera is that? Ah, the, this one, right there. So that works too, but since this doesn't have a flipper on a screen, this is very helpful um, to actually see what's going on. So I can see what's going on, I can convert it, and the other great thing about these is they have SD card slots, and I can actually record on them in Apple ProRes. So this is a recorder, a screen, um, a, I don't know, waveform thing, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Look at that, I've never even seen that it does that. Whoa! Whoa, look at that, whoa. And then histogram, isn't that something women get? No, that's a hysterectomy, that's different, right? Um, something histo, go away, go away. Yep, go away. So I love these things, I've got three of them. They are not cheap, but they are the, the best helper you can have as a video guy because they accept any kind of video input and output and they show you the frame rate and the resolution. Very, very helpful. Um, and then the camera that Leslie's holding it can be camera number 10, for which in this corner I have again a very long SDI cable, I think 30 meters, going into the other room, and I've got another mini converter HDMI to SDI, plug HDMI in here, it ends up to be camera number 10. So, that is the cameras. Um, I need to see what Leslie is switching to, which is called the program view. That is what you guys will actually see. That is what, what's going to end up on the SD card. That's what I see up there in 4K. Uh, we tried it in HD, even though it's a 4K signal. Problem is really... Um, Adjusting the focus is extremely difficult if you don't actually see it in the full resolution. So that's a 4K monitor. This is an HD monitor. It's showing us eight of the 10 cameras. Um, actually, there's the ninth one. And there's the program view. Um, now I can go ahead, because that switcher is networked, I can do the switching from right here. As you can see, I switch the angles. I can say, this is my preview, it's going to show me what I'm switching to, and then I can do fades, I can do stupid wipes, you know, I mean, it's all possible. And I can also do picture in picture, which usually would be this camera, picture in picture, because you want to see picture in picture, the pedal. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that software, and I can do it from in here. So when Leslie's setting up, I can set up the focus while she's setting up the names for the angles, um, and we can work in tandem. So, um, what else? Yeah, for the live streams, um, if you watched my live stream audio setup uh, video, our mix engineer Jonas is going to be upstairs. Now the problem is, he needs to see all the same information we see here, which wasn't that easy. Um, and I also kind of need some visual feedback of what he's doing and you know, if he's waving or whatever. So I set up an HD camera upstairs, needed another little HDMI to SDI converter, this time only HD, they're cheaper. And that's coming with an SDI signal right here into this monitor. So if you see, you see the mixer, and his workspace, he's going to be sitting there tomorrow doing this, and there's only just an SDI signal coming from upstairs through the wall. And as you can see, these little monitors are so super helpful. See, right now it's telling me 1080i50, that's what's coming in, and that's what Jonas, where Jonas will be sitting. Now let's look at where Leslie is sitting, because that's where the actual switching of the cameras is happens because I'm I'm sitting here you know making stupid penis jokes hey bunny but if we go through the kitchen into a room that's completely chaotic just pay no attention to the chaotic room one reason why she has to be in a separate room is because 
the switcher is extremely loud. There's like eight fans in it or something. So this is the switcher. Well, it's not that hot right now. It usually gets ridiculously hot, but we have a fan installed behind it that blows air through here. Um, so on it, all you can do is actually just send some aux uh, video to different screens. You really can't do anything without the software. Um, above it is the recorder, because it actually needs to be recorded to an SD card. This is uh, what the HyperDeck Mini does. Two SD cards, you can flip them out, you can record for days and days and days, just go one, two, one, two, one, two. Its video signal goes out of it, just loop through into the web presenter. And the web presenter uh, takes that SDI signal, can also do HDMI, it takes that SDI signal and converts it into a 720p webcam signal. So I've got a USB cable from here running through the wall into my Mac where if I'm Skyping, if I'm Facebooking live, if I'm doing anything, uh, I can just say web presenter. It sees it like a webcam and my whole setup shows up in Skype, in Facebook, in OBS, in YouTube live. That's how we do it. So this is a very easy way to convert any cameras into a web stream. Uh, it's 500 bucks. It's not a cheap way, but it's an easy way. Now, in order for Jonas upstairs to see what we're seeing and to have also a 4K stream of the, the final stream and also audio, um, I'm taking an SDI signal from here, pretty much SDI loop out, which means whatever's coming in, please give me a copy of that. Um, through the wall, up into the blah, 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 into the living room, which we're going to see, and he has a 4K signal there as well. Um, also, this little box right here, which is the multi-view out, the multi-view that I'm getting in there is HDMI. Leslie is getting an SDI signal from the switcher for her multi-view, but I'm converting that to HDMI because otherwise the screen wouldn't be able to read it. So. In order to use all the ins and outs on this switcher, which are all plugged in, I need a lot of converter boxes. So I'm converting SDI to HDMI. Bam, here's another multi-view. Mine is using the HDMI out. Leslie is using the SDI out. But there's an SDI loop through. So I'm looping that through, going upstairs into the uh, living room, and all of a sudden, I have this three times now. So Jonas can also see this. Um, this is a pretty inexpensive, um, what is that, Hisense, some Chinese brand, um, 4K TV. It does the trick. Um, and this shows Leslie the actual quality of what's going out onto the SD card, which is very important because focusing with a quarter of a screen, and this is only in uh, HD screen. So this is a 16th of the actual resolution that we will actually have. It's not something to work with. She has to have an actual 4K screen. Um, here's a Mac Pro, which is completely overpowered to run this software, but here is the software, same as I have in there. Everything I do will be mirrored there, and I can switch here, and it will, as you can clearly see, switch the angles. Now, in order to have more tactile um, control, I bought this... Um, ATEM advanced panel, uh, which really just, you know, lets you switch by hand. But it's nice because you can color code everything. Um, you have a nice thingy to move the transitions, which we don't use. The best thing that it does is once we do a picture in picture, which right now, let me see. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, I want... Here, pedal, there you go. Um, see, I can actually now go and rotate that. Uh, I can move this with a stick. So in real time, I can take the stick and if I, if I turn it, see, it changes the size. And I'm gonna go and turn the, oh wait. Uh, Kias, yeah, mask, not mask. Shadow off. 
There you go. Uh, I can quickly show this. I can quickly show <coughs> change the mask, which before was necessary to do with parameters, which was very annoying. It's great that this pedal is totally crooked now. Um, so let's see. I, let's say I cut the pedal out, which I can do very quickly. I can now with the joystick position it here really quickly. And I say set a override. And I'm going to put it over here, smaller, set B override. And now I have macros. So I can just switch back and forth between these two settings. So I can do this. And there it is. And I can go back to that. So when I'm playing guitar, Leslie can quickly move the pedal out of the way of the headstock or the fretboard so that nothing is blocked. This is all doable just with the software. Having this joystick means someone can quickly go and just move it out of the way. Uh, or I can have a computer editor picture in picture on the screen and I'm able to quickly make that bigger focus on the area where I'm, I'm at. Yeah, this is ridiculously expensive, but it allows me to produce videos quickly in the quality that I want to achieve. Um, so audio is coming into the Apollo um, for the live stream. Everything is going into the Personas, into the Apollo, and then from the Apollo with XLR cables through the wall into the XLR inputs on the ATEM, and then it goes out. Uh, for my videos, audio is going uh, same way. I could do this directly to the SD card, but I'm recording it in Cubase and I'm mixing it in Cubase and I'm putting it on the video later. So what's going on the SD card is merely a backup. Which leaves, and, and let's see, of course, I can uh, monitor in here through the Hafler's, through my very first um, Hi-Fi uh, Kenwood amplifier, which is from 85, which I still use and it's still working. Show me something built today that's going to work 30 years later, 33 years later. It's still there. And this is a uh, button that Leslie made for me. I'm not shitting you. Leslie made that for me. What do you mean I don't wear it? Okay, fine. Here you go. There's a, here is the penis button. I'm going to wear that. Are you happy now? Yeah. You happy? Good. So now we go upstairs. See, there's many, many cables lying around. Oh, did you see this? Uh, wait, um, we... Yeah. That's my battery charging station. Mounted on a pedal board so that I don't have to plug in all these different um, uh, batteries and all these battery chargers over and over again. This is actually a mobile all battery charging station, very, very, very handy. So we go upstairs, which is only um, something that is uh, happening when we do the live streams. But if my mixer is sitting upstairs so that he is isolated from the band and only hears the mix of the band. Are you filming my butt? You better not be filming my butt. Um, then Jonas, our mix engineer, will be sitting in my living room. Welcome to my living room. So the cables are coming from downstairs. That multi-view comes up in SDI. And here, with a mini converter, gets converted from SDI to a super high-end HDMI cable. Um, the great thing is about this new bi-directional um, mini converter, it can actually go SDI, HDMI, HDMI, SDI in the same box and at the same time. And when I realized that, I was like, wait, pfft, I put a camera up here. And that's where I put this camera up here um, with a Triad Orbit clamp and an M2 ball head, which can film Jonas, goes HDMI into this and then directly SDI into the little um, screen, the video assist. So here we have network cables for the uh, mixer and the video cables. And I'll try to hide them a little bit. I mean, of course, they're only installed when we do the live streams. So here, the 4K. Let me get that off the wall a bit. I still have to hide that cable. I hate that that cable is there. Um, 
So he can see exactly what's going on downstairs, and that's happening with uh, the loop through from the web presenter, remember, so that he actually gets the full video and audio that you're getting. And that's going into this time a different way, SDI to HDMI, so that I can use a really, really long cable, which is called Wiener, um, and then HDMI into the TV. The TV will get the audio that you're getting um, and actually send it into here with an uh, optical light pipe. Now, Jonas will be sitting here, and he's capable of seeing all the different angles. I only have this really wide screen, and I don't know how to change the aspect ratio. Um, I'll play around with that again tomorrow. I don't even know if it's possible. I tried. Uh, it's stretched out, but it doesn't matter. At least he can see all the different angles when the uh, concert's going on. But he can sit here. He has a, um, a second screen where you can see all the settings. There's a cat down there. What's Bunny doing? What is Bunny doing? See him? The fucker, what is he doing? Do Dude, you're on my desk. What the? Uh-huh. Why are you on my desk? Yeah, go, go down, go down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's looking for food. He's, he's running around on a desk with thousands of, of cameras, thousands worth of cameras. The fucker. Now, now he's on the, on the pedal. Dude, <laughs> we can see you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but this is where he can mix. The band is downstairs. He'll still hear a little bit of the boom, boom, boom from the, from the uh, drums. As soon as the system in here, which is my uh, um, uh, normal surround system, in, in this case from Teufel, uh, in stereo, of course, is blasting, he shouldn't be able to, uh, to hear that anymore. And he can really mix for you guys without hearing the band in the room. He can see what's going on, what Leslie is switching to right there. That is the program signal. He can see all the different cameras. Um, so that means we have the multi-view and the program view three times. We have the program view in 4K on three different 4K monitors. We have the multi-view um, three times on HD monitors. It's only uh, 1080i, which is really annoying because of the interlaced. It's f jittery. It's no fun, but it can't do it in any other way. Um, um, he can see the fat channel from the PreSonus Studio Live 16. And uh, I also downstairs have access to those screens and I also have access with my iPad to every single mixer setting. I'm pretty excited about the setup. Um, that's my video setup. It's not my mobile setup. Leslie is actually holding, that's one of the cameras that we didn't talk about, um, the XF400, which did get stolen in Frankfurt. Um, but because of you being awesome and supporting me with a GoFundMe campaign that one fan set up, thank you for that, um, I could rebuy that. Um, and right now I'm using a Sennheiser AVX system uh, going wirelessly into the camera with this lav mic MKE2, I think it is. Um, this again is a penis button that Leslie made for me. So, um, that's how I do my videos. We can go more in depth and actually like... Uh, do a live stream with someone documenting when we do a video, because this, of course, was the live stream video setup. But um, maybe when I have someone else here, um, we'll do a live stream where you guys see us actually setting up for a pedal demo or something like that. If you want to see that, let me know. But that's how we do it. Um, Leslie in her room, me down there working together with the setup. And then it got a little bit more complicated for the live stream setup, because we needed all these monitors up here and it's it's fun it's exciting and i think we're going to have a cool concert tomorrow thanks for watching thanks leslie for holding the camera which is really heavy um and uh thanks to all the companies supporting me thanks to you guys watching uh please subscribe if you haven't uh leave comments below we love that please nice ones and uh, animals at the end not not the fucker who runs around on my desk like some someone else oh, no don't give him more screen time I don't know if he deserves that. Hey, Bunny, do you, do you, I don't, yeah, you know what, you know what you did.
Um, hello? Expensive equipment. Bunny. And what the? And Leslie, your dog brought in cherry stems. What? What's that all about? Do we need to have them in here? <sighs> Animals at the end. Bunny, come here. Couldn't love you, not even if I tried. Heart's been broken about a million times. And everything I hold dear, sure, corrupted by that old fear. You weren't supposed to. Turn around my life I was safe in my cell Like a snail in the shell Till you You lured me out of the same house You ripped the blindfold Of my face 